what you do, watermelons? I'm back. Okay, so you guys wanted to know how I got here. I want to know how I got here. So, where do I begin? I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. <laughs> this happened just a little over a year ago, so it's still not all that easy to talk about, so I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm going to give you the gist of it. I was born in Ventura, California. At the age of three, I moved to Arkansas and I lived all my life out there. And then last year, I moved back out here. And the reason I moved out here was because I, I had to leave the relationship that I was in. I had to leave for my safety. It got so bad that my coworkers were telling me, if you don't get out of here, we're gonna see your face on the news. I was in denial about it at first. Of course, I wanted to believe that there could be change. And I believed in the best, but it progressively got worse. There was one incident where I realized that enough is enough and I have to get out of here before it's too late. My only option at the time on such short notice was California. I didn't have a plan, I just knew that I needed to get somewhere safe and I was going to figure it out after I made it here. And that's all that I was thinking. He was starting to sense that something was up and he was getting more scared of me leaving that it made him grip tighter and it became more of a challenge for me to strategize my way out of the house. I <clears throat> acted like I was coming out here just to take a little vacation and visit my relatives. I left everything behind. I didn't bring anything with me. I didn't have time. I actually just brought the things that were most important to me and clothes and whatever else I could fit in my car. Um, all my furniture, all of my belongings, I just had to wipe my hands of them. It was my belongings or it was my life. I mean, enough said, right? <laughs> when I came out here to California, I did stay with some relatives. Now, I had only met them one time before in my life, and I was 19 years old, so quite a while ago. And since then, we had not kept contact. Um, so it was kind of a weird, <laughs> Um, not the most like welcoming transition out here, um, but it was a place to stay and it lasted a few months and <clears throat> things went south pretty quickly. I wasn't close to them and it just turned out to be a very toxic environment and the relationship would have just been detrimental to me and my growth and there was nothing good that came out of being around them. Um, if anything, it just brought me down and it was all negative. So when I was pushed out of there, essentially I was pushed out into the streets. For about a month after that, after they did away with me, I stayed in my car outside the gate of their house um, because that was the only safe area I knew. Um, I wasn't familiar too much with like the area so I just continued to park there but 
I had to do it just at night when um, they were sleeping and when they found out they threatened to call the cops on me. So I could no longer park there and I was just kind of, I've been on my own ever since. I've just kind of been out roaming ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's how that happened. I didn't want to go into too much detail. Um, I'm not on here to bash anybody. It's just one of those unfortunate things that, um, you know, sometimes you have relatives that you really can't call family. Um, I, I consider family people that love you unconditionally and these people were not that at all. They were actually the opposite and kind of cruel to be honest towards the end. But it was okay. It doesn't bother me because, like I said, I didn't really know them that well. And I've been burned and hurt so much in my life. And I've been through so much that that the, those relationships, they weren't significant enough to really bring me down. Like, I was just like, okay, well, what now? That's how I ended up here. But, you know, it's this isn't... A woe is me kind of deal it sucked at first because it was unexpected and it was a transition that I was not ready for but I overcame that like I'm making the best of it I, I actually love it there's something new that happens every day I get to go anywhere I want it's freeing I, and I'm not struggling the only time I really struggle is trying to find the parking spot sometimes it's not bad and I'm having fun and I'm, I'm happy I, I don't need the pity and the sorrow, um, but I, I fully embrace with open arms all of your love and support. The people who get me, thank you. <laughs> the people that understand where I'm at and that I'm not on here just like trying to get people to feel sorry for me. Understand that I'm embracing this journey and then I'm just showing other people that like, Things happen in life. It doesn't matter who you are. Things happen in life and we have to learn to get back up on our feet and make the best of it and keep rolling. And that's the only way we're going to be victorious is if we just keep marching on. Grinding part of the journey. They don't really see what they have to go through in the middle, the up and down emotions and the struggles. <laughs> Those are the parts that make us the strongest. This is my life. This is... <laughs> This is real and it's just it's just me sharing it with you guys. That's all it is. I want people to be aware that there's so much to be thankful for and that we are all blessed in our own ways, whether we're on the streets in our vehicles in a nice house on the hills, like it doesn't matter. We are all blessed and we all have our struggles. We are all in this together. What are we doing if we're not supporting one another and showing love? We're a family. Like we're, we're all one big family. We got to stick together. I love you guys and thanks for hearing me out. There's a seagull in front of me, and I can I can see him staring at me. But every time I look at him, he looks away. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I just left the gym. Actually, I take that back. I went to the gym, and then I went to I went to Target, and then I went to the grocery store, and then the post office, and now I am parked by the beach. So, I guess I could show you guys what I got. Oh, yeah, and see, you see this? I told you that messes happen. It doesn't stay clean and nice and pretty all the time. This is reality. This is, yeah, this is what happened. A lot of you guys want to know more about my little cooker. <laughs> it is, I'm going to put a link for it in the description for this. I'm going to put a link in, yeah, in the description box, whatever, however you're supposed to say it. Hot Logic is the brand, and I got the mini. It was the Hot Logic mini, just because all I needed 
for is like little TV dinners. I actually have something in here cooking right now. I got from Target. I have never tried this one. Bologna style vegan lasagna. It sounds disgusting, I know. When I first read it, I was like, ugh. But some of these surprise you. And I like trying new things, so this is what it is. Can you see it? Only 350 calories. So, oh, and it's made in Italy. It's gotta be good, right? Nah, 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 nah. Looks a little questionable, but it's layered. Like, I'll cut into it and show it to you in a second. Melons. You guys know how I like my melons. Water, of course. I always, always keep at least a jug of water in here. Oh yeah, I already ate one. <laughs> so then I got some protein bars. I like these. Man, I'm not gonna be able to see it. Oh, yeah. I like these. They're no cow protein bars, obviously vegan, um, but they're pretty good. And they have 20 grams of protein, so win-win. And ice drink. I always get these, love these. And then this is my favorite bang. I'm so glad I discovered it. It's called the Delish Strawberry Kiss. It tastes exactly like my childhood. Do you guys remember the little um, the little squishy gummies? The little pink. They look like mushrooms but without the stem. They're like little pink gummies but the bottom part is white. I think it's made by Haribo. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> but it tastes exactly like them. Like you're drinking them. It's so good. So I got that. And that is it. This is actually should be done almost. Mmm. It does smell good. It smells like a veggie lasagna. <laughs> So yeah, um, some of you guys are saying in the comments that I look like Janet Jackson. That is one that stuck out to me because at least four people have said it already. I don't see it. That is like a major compliment though. Thank you. What do you guys think? Janet Jackson? I don't think so. I could just sit and stare at the seagull all day. We're going to see. Little bitty mini bites. Yum. Can you guys see this? Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Yummy. Looking underneath. It tastes, it tastes just like lasagna. Cool. <gasps> Dolphins! Okay, I'm gonna have to show you guys. Hold on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did I get that on camera? Please tell me I got that on camera. I'm running on two hours of sleep, you guys. my channel's just like growing and my phone is blowing up constantly I'm like super excited inside and so I think that's like it's just keeping me awake <laughs> I went to bed at like 2 30 last night and I woke up at 5 for work so I really don't know how I'm sitting here talking to you guys what to do just click on the window